Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Martinez and today we're making the healthiest strawberry jam. Start by taking a Dutch oven, the medium size or large Dutch oven work great, right, and add 2.5 pounds or 1,120 grams of frozen strawberries. Let these cook over medium to medium high heat and allow them to defrost in the Dutch oven. Allow some of the liquid of the strawberries to be released. You won't have to add any oil or sweetener to deglaze them because naturally they'll release their own fluid. Add 200 grams of medjool or other dates. I actually purchased these from a local farmer here in the Southern California region and these were black magic dates which added an extra hit of sweetness but medjool are the most widely sold and so I recommend using these if you don't have unique brands around you. I recommend going to farmers markets and checking out what your local farmers carry Add the entire mixture to a blender. I recommend using a really high speed blender here. A Ninja or a Vitamix work best because I added the fluid pretty warm. The Vitamix can handle a very hot liquid and you want it to come out really nice and smooth. Super smooth to be in fact. So I added it back to the Dutch oven and I added the juice of 1.5 lemons. Make sure to taste test as you go along just to ensure that you like your jam. At this stage, the jam will be a wee bit runny because it hasn't been given the time to evaporate the water that is within the jam. So I chose to just take my Dutch oven and bake everything at 300 degrees Fahrenheit uncovered for 40 minutes making sure to stir intermittently and nothing gets burned at this temperature so you're good to go. It'll look a little dark on the top, but don't worry once you mix it all in or you can spoon out those bits. You'll have a thicker consistency in your jam and you can tell by this when it sticks to your spoon. That is a good sign of a runnier jam. I put it into a mason jar and once you let it cool completely at room temperature or in the refrigerator, it'll really thicken up. You can add some chia seeds if you'd like for an extra super food kick, but this jam actually didn't need it. It'll store in the fridge for two weeks and keep it in your freezer for up to six months. If you like this recipe, be sure to subscribe for videos every single Friday and pretty much daily shorts. See you next time.